here at Dollywood during a pandemic. This is my first time here and I'm super excited. I know that Wild Eagle is running because I saw it, but I have no idea if anything else is open. So as of now, we're going to go pick up our fast passes and then we're gonna go see, see and make sure if Lightning Rod is open. So we'll see you after that. I just got my Time Saver Unlimited. Oh yeah, and if you want the shirt I'm wearing right here, you can go purchase it using the link in the description. And now we're heading over to Lightning Rod so I can get on my first RMC of 2020. Lightning Rod isn't currently open. We just saw it test, but it hasn't been open all morning yet. So it's a little disappointing, but we're gonna have to move on, check out something else. We just did Tennessee Tornado. Oh my God, that was so forceful. There's crazy airtime on like both of the first drops. Like the pre-drop gives great airtime. The first drop gives outstanding and sustained ejector. I grayed out after the second loop into the sidewinder. That thing is so intense. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm at a loss for words. That was crazy. I just got off of lightning rod. That is phenomenal. The launch was way more intense than I thought it would be. All of the airtime moments gave fantastic ejector. It was all very sustained. The restraints were awesome. Like I didn't get stapled, so I had crazy room. Did I mention I sat in the back car, which was absolutely awesome. I got a sign there, so I didn't even have to request anything. The theming was really good. I, like I'm just at a loss for words. I'm not sure that might be my number one coaster, might not but that doesn't even matter. Just come to Dollywood if you haven't to ride Lightning Rod. Like just for Lightning Rod, it's that incredible. We just got off of Wild Eagle. That was a really fun B&M wing coaster. I have no idea what is going on with my body today. I just grayed out on that. In between the loop and the zero G roll, like it's a little bit hot, but like it's not that humid or hot outside. But besides that, it's actually a really fun ride. Forceful, has some good airtime on the first drop, good whip through the inversions. Got a little airtime on the airtime hill towards the end there. So I overall recommend, yeah. We just rode Dragonflyer. That's honestly a really awesome coaster. Like it's really short, but it's a really good family coaster. Like it, mi it mixes some decent intensity and thrill with like the first drop and first overbank, but then the rest of the rod is just your classic Vacoma hang and bang. But this one has lap bars, super smooth, really good theming. I like this park is just awesome. It has really good theming all throughout. We're about to, Wildwood Grove itself is a really great area. We're about to leave Wildwood Grove so we can head over, check out Thunderhead, which is our GCI wooden roller coaster. We just 
got off of Thunderhead. That was like that was my second GCI. I think I prefer Mystic Timbers, but this was still awesome. It like it kind of focused more on laterals and airtime, but it was still awesome. Like it was a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Not oh yeah, the seats are like insanely comfortable. It feels like sitting on a couch. I don't even know what they did with that in Mystic Timbers, but I don't know. This is an awesome GCI. I definitely recommend it. I'm not sure where I placed in the parks lineup because it's just so strong and deep, but it's an awesome coaster, that's for sure. We just got off of Mystery Mine. That was like my first Gerslauer Eurofighter. That was fun and all, but like, this is very stereotypical. If the entire ride was like the second half, then it would be a really great coaster. The first half is has tons of headbanging. It's really boring. Just like, it's not a bad coaster. It's just not great. Like if you're at Dollywood, go ahead and ride it, but it's not that good. Fire Tracer Express is back open. So now that we're done with Mystery Mine, we're gonna hit up that and then go get a second ride on Lightning Rod. going right now. We just did Fire Chaser Express. That's a really good family coaster. I haven't gone backwards in a while, well backwards on a roller coaster in a while. It was fun. The backwards launch was really intense and it was a lot more than I was expecting. The rest of the ride just kind of meanders around but it's a really good family coaster. Definitely one to get your kids into and a, like enthusiast, you know? We just got a second ride on lightning rod. That is insane. I rode again towards the back, this time in the second to back car. That has so much airtime. The launch is actually really intense and I did not expect it to be. Airtime is so out of control. Like again, like I, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if this is my favorite roller coaster, but it certainly is close. So that wraps up our day at Dollywood. Now I did only spend four hours here and I did miss out on two of their coasters due to time constraints. But the time I did spend here, I really enjoyed. Lightning Rod is fantastic, and the rest of the coasters really fit into the parks lineup very well. Can't wait to get back to this park sometime. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.